Passengers quarantined on a cruise ship in Japan amid the coronavirus outbreak have access to mental health counseling and enhanced internet access. The Diamond Princess is back out at sea after being isolated in the port of Yokohama, with 61 people, including British honeymooner Alan Steele, from Wolverhampton, having been taken to hospitals after testing positive for the virus. There are almost 3,700 passengers on board the liner, including 78 British passport holders, and the vessel's quarantine is due to go on until February 19. A boss at the, the ship's operator has spoken about the difficulties faced by those on board, and what is being done to help. In a video posted on Twitter, Raika Lauri, executive vice president at Princess Cruises, said, It's unbelievably stressful and challenging for both our guests and our crew. Being isolated to a stateroom for 14 days although well appointed is certainly not an experience we would wish upon anyone. He said the company's president Jan Swartz flew to Japan and met government officials and first responders, adding, we're in full coordination and following the expert guidance. Mr. Kalaori said they are delivering room service meals three times a day to all state rooms, providing complimentary internet and telephone connectivity, and have significantly increased the internet bandwidth. We recognize that a situation like this can create unprecedented stress, so we're also offering our guests and crew specialized telephonic mental health counseling if they should be experiencing such stress and mental health issues, he said. Although we're facing many limitations and challenges, we're doing our best to deliver the most critical needs of hashtag Diamond Princess. We're also working to provide as much care and comfort as we can to all on board. We hope these gestures will lift the spirits of those on board. Pick.twitter.com slash DLZQ3NH7QC Princess Cruises, at Princess Cruises, February 8, 2020 I have to say the level of energy, commitment and passion here at our corporate office is very high and we've staffed up our corporate office to work 24-7. Please be assured we're doing our best to deal with this situation. We're here for our guests and we're here for our crew. As I mentioned, these are very unique circumstances that have required us to reorganize our shipboard hotel, food and beverage, and overall guest services operations. Mr. Kalaori said the in-cabin video on-demand system has been enhanced with a significant amount of extra films and eight additional live TV channels. He also said the Japanese Minister of Health has provided additional medical staff to work with the onboard medical team. British passenger David Abel told BBC Breakfast the ship is now back out at sea and they are confined to their cabins most of the time. For more on this story, visit the news article link.